Hello everyone, this is Tyva Littles and today I want to make a tutorial that introduces what ligatures and glyphs and special characters are. And I hope that I don't get too technical with this video because I'm trying to speak from a newbie perspective and I'm actually still a newbie myself. I'm a newbie that cannot access my font book or my character map just yet. So when I came across this Molly script, I was very excited because it allowed you to download font like SVG blocks so where you can just pick and choose which letters you would like to use. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial. So I downloaded the Molly script and I uploaded it into my Cricut Design Space. And this is the lettering that was given me. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to spell the name Nicole, my middle name. So what I'm going to do is I actually want a long curly N. So I'm looking to see if I can find a long curly N first. Ha, there it is. It's right here. So after we uploaded it to the Cricut Design Space, it allows us to put whichever block we want to put on our design space. Okay, so when I upload it, I want to go to width and select five inches so I can work with it. And I want to use this in right here. So I click on group, pull this in out and put it on a line like so. Then I'm going to double check to see if there's any, I want to use an I but not this I. Want to use an L, I'll probably end up using this L. Nope, oh, probably end up using this L. And it's best to go one by one. You know, I've had a chance to play with this name so I know exactly what letters I want to use. So I select all and delete that. So our next letter is I. So I want to upload the I. Let's see. I want a regular I without the, the ligature. The long swirly things that you see here are called ligatures. So I just want a regular I. So I'm going to go to this one and upload. Make the width five inches so I can work with it. Move it over to the side. Doesn't want to cooperate with me. <laughs> well, we're just going to ungroup it. And I want to use this eye, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to delete the rest of the items. Okay, so now I want to upload the letter C, which I want a regular C. See if I can see a C that I would like to use. Definitely not one of those, possibly one of these. Okay, so insert. Change the width to five inches. Oh, there's not a C in here, that's an O. <laughs> Okay, so letter C is here. Okay, and we change the width to five. And move it. My little clicky, I'm working for the click pad, not the mouse, and it's it's cutting up on me. Okay, and then I'm gonna ungroup. And I want to use this C actually and that C actually may work out excellent okay and while I'm here I know that I want to use this E that's similar to the N so I'm going to go ahead and add that like so so the last letter I'm looking for is a O which I want to be a regular O so we're going to pick that out Look through here, we picked up the O's one time before. Right here, checking over here for a regular O. Okay, and I'm gonna select the width, five. And I'm gonna ungroup. Let's see, let's try two O's. If we did this one with the curly, how would it connect with the LE? Uh, I kind of like it. Look like it's a little bit too much going on for me. Put 
this regular O. And I absolutely love that one. So we're going to go ahead, move these closer, and go select all of these and delete. So now we have our name that we chose with our special characters. And you see the ligatures already like so. Okay. When you supersize it, you're able to see exactly how to connect it. And you can double check the spacing to make sure it does what you want it to do. And oftentimes I put it on a line to try to make sure that it's all straight, which is optional. Sometimes you can eyeball it. There we go. Okay. So now that I have it how I want it, I want to weld it. And there we go. We have our name with, that we actually use with the special characters and the ligatures. And that is how you use that. Oftentimes, you'll see, let's see if I can do it. N. This N is an N used from the Alexandria script. Okay, I want to bring that to the front. Okay, and change the color of this. Here we go. Okay, so that is the monogram that a lot of us use, where you can just do one big letter and then the actual name. 